Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, of course, with I Plan to Be Fit. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Choke Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, this ain't working. Um, actually, I just went over to see my friend Richard, who is the diehard Steeler fan. You remember we went to Deep Creek and stuff together, and from time to time he'll be over at the Man Cave. He is deep, deep Steeler fan, and that's where I was making that other rack. Um, I gave him one last year, and he had it up on the wall, and his wife was like, you need another one to balance it out. So she actually called me during the draft and said, I need you to make another one. And I didn't know she wanted it for Father's Day. She said, you know, when do you, I asked her what she wanted, as soon as possible. So I hurried up and made it. So I took it over to her. She said, you know, the reason I was going to give it to your father, like, well, why'd you tell me to hurry up and get it done? She's like, well, because I'll get him something else. I'm like, okay, all right, whatever. But I didn't realize, I know about the three Cowboys that are going into the Hall of Fame, and that's where I'm going to make a Hall of Fame trip. We're going to get an RV. Uh, for the trip. I know Mike said he's going to go. I'm going to go. And I was talking to Richard. I did not realize there's six Steelers going in. That's insane. Six. So between the Cowboys and Steelers, we're talking about nine people being inducted. So uh, there ain't no bones about it. This this is a must-do trip. We will be at the Hall of Fame. Wouldn't you agree with that one? What? What? What you saw the smell on that trip? Ain't no giant. Uh, I don't think there's any giant. Yeah, but yeah, but there's one that's there's one that's coming. I don't know why he wants to go. So he can go to the Hall of Fame because that, that's a once in. Well, no. I never been to. We, I never been to the Hall of Fame. That's well, Hall it, of it's Fame. definitely gonna be a trip uh, <laughs> for it. But I, I tell you, here's where this is where I, 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 it's gonna cost me some money because if everything is okay, if everything is green lights uh, from COVID and all that. They'll be doing autograph signings. And this, I know, you know, you have all the former Hall of Famers are there. So, you know, that means Roger Staubach. That means Drew Pearson. That means uh, Cliff Harris. They'll probably have, and, and it'll cost some money. Because Roger Staubach, I can guarantee you, at the Hall of Fame would be probably $350. Uh, Drew Pearson at the Hall of Fame inducted will probably be about $350. Unless they do it. Maybe they'll do it like they did. No. It's about making all that cash. Of course, the Back in 2013, they had... No, this was insane because I thought about it at the time. It was like $350 to get into this autograph signing tent. And in that tent, they had like Chris Carter because he was being inducted. They had um, like Lawrence Taylor. Um... Mean Joe Green was in there, Roger Staubach. So you paid one price and you could go wait through all those lines. So at the time, I was like, $350, that's a lot of money for that. But in retrospect, that's actually a bargain when you think about what that value of that, getting it at the Hall of Fame. So I can imagine that it's going to be a pretty penny. But if I can get those guys to sign the football gods, I'm going to have to make a case for that. Special just to hold on to that. Now, back to the modern day Dallas Cowboys. I do a lot of thinking when I'm driving and stuff. In fact, I, I try and do a lot of thinking to keep my brain sharp, even though I keep losing shit all over the place. And I'm trying to put together the pieces of the puzzle. There's a lot of good players out there in free agency. Um, you know, older players, you know, you saw KJ Wright, you saw, you know, I wanted uh, Sheldon Richardson and things like that. There's Richard Sherman's. But I think the Cowboys have a philosophy, a new philosophy, because when you think about last year, right, Dak Prescott was lighting up the scoreboard, right? Number uh, one in fantasy. Number one in fantasy <laughs> and, and, and probably number one, you know, the, the Cowboys offense, you're talking about possibly 3,000 yard receivers. On the flip side of that, you know, what they always say, well, you know, you can't just be scoring all those points at will because your defense can't keep up, you know? And it used to be, when you think about the Cowboys, you know, with Tony Romo, 
we developed running the football as a way of protecting our defense. The way we protected them was keep their ass off the field. Keep them off the field, right? When you had DeMarco Murray, had an 1,800-yard season and stuff, they were well-rested when they came onto the field, right? That, that makes sense. Your offense helps out the defense. But I think the Cowboys actually are going to try and do something totally different. The reason you stay away from the veterans, older guys like me, when we were taking that fridge around the front, man, my hips are going to, okay, we, we had a big refrigerator that, you know, my wife hates to waste anything. We bought the refrigerator when we bought the house like 18 years ago. It started having like frost up problems in the base and stuff, so we got a new refrigerator. Didn't want to get rid of it. It's nothing wrong with that. Well, I don't want to throw it away. So we put it in the basement. The problem is, is it's like a 36 inch wide refrigerator. Work. Okay? And we literally had to take the door, uh, the door frame and everything off to get it into the utility room. And it's just big. It's just too damn big. Well, it, it just finally stopped working. So we had to take the whole door frame and everything off again to get that sucker out. I found another one, a uh, used one, you know, built like four years ago, so it's not really old. Put that one in, we had to take the other one out. And I literally took my saws all to it to cut it to help make it easier to get out. And that thing is still heavy as shit. It's heavy. But I noticed as we're pulling this sucker up the hill, man, my hips are getting tired and sore. And, you know, I'm just kind of getting winded because <coughs> I'm old. You know, this guy, he's younger. He wasn't quite as winded. And this is the Dallas Cowboys. The reason they're going with these guys with length, that's the first thing that they're doing. They're going with guys with length that can be able to shed blocks and be able to move and get upfield and stuff as opposed to just holding ground. Two, they're getting younger guys. The, the Dallas Cowboys defense, in fact, the Dallas Cowboys in general, may be one of the younger teams in football. And when you have young guys, it's kind of like them kids. You know, when you're a grandparent, you got the kids. They're just running around like crazy because they got all kinds of energy, right? That's what the Cowboys are going to be looking at. They're not going to look to go ahead and cartel the offense. They're going to look to score it well as quick as possible, right? And you look at it with Dak and crew, with Amari and CD, they're going to be able to score a lot of points. They, they may, you know, could they possibly make the football the record of points? I don't know. i got to find out what that, that record is. But when you look at that, there's the potential to do that. If Zeke Elliott, you know, I, I still believe Zeke had COVID issues last year, okay? We know he had full-blown COVID. You know, one of the things they talk about, of course, is you kind of are winded and you have gripping issues as well as other things. And it could be conceivable that that was part of the problem. The other part of the problem was our offensive line was ass. And if our offensive line is going, you're going to be able to get Zeke going with the football. You get Zeke going with the football, you've got those wide receivers that are going to be having one-on-one -on -one because people put eight men in the box. They will score some points. But now, enter what the Cowboys have done in free agency. It's not a lot of major players, you know, big name pass rushers and things, Khalil Max. But what they're doing is they're setting up where they have a lot of depth. You look at the linebacker court. You know, everybody says, oh, well, they'll get rid of Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith, and, you know, it'll be Jabril Cox and um, Micah Parsons. No, here's what they're going to do. They're going to hold on to those other guys, too. They're going to be able to bring in a second wave. So when that offense scores, boom, you know, in three minutes, all right, we've got, you know, defense number one going in, defense number two going in, that they're going to be able to just keep running. The Cowboys are going to run this team and run other teams in the ground because if you're going to have to take on a wave of defensive players, you know, I'm an offensive guard. I'm playing the whole game. Well, the defense has got two, three guys that are playing the same amount of snaps that I'm playing. Oh, that's a little different. You'll wear teams out. You, you think that's a possibility? About the wait and see. Wait and see. I, I, that's what I think is going to happen. I, I, I honestly believe that the Cowboys are going to be trying to score at will. And they're going to be sending wave after wave of young defenders at you. And actually, it could be kind of a genius plan. We're younger, we're deeper, and we're going to wear you out. If you're an older team, 
you're going to be like tired by the end of the game. This means that, you know, second halves, second halves, you're going to see where the Cowboys excel past other teams that aren't physically as deep. And I think that that's going to be, I think that's going to be the ticket. And the other ticket is going to be is we're going to be at the Hall of Fame. That much I can tell you. I've invited Richard to a lot of things, but finding out that there's going to be six Steelers there, I can guarantee you, come hell or high water, he going to want to go. All right, you got anything to add? Well, it's 91 degrees today, and I begin to hear the cicadas singing, Mother Humpers. And Philly 500, you got three hours. You got three hours, brother, and you better show. I'm telling you, you better show. I'm Mark Holmes with Michael Anthony Fitness. I'm coming for you, brother. Peace.